Hello, Gareth here, and in this watercolour video, I want to um, deal with one of the biggest problems I think beginner watercolour students have, which is to do with mixing their paint. It sounds very simple, and um, it always seems so simple to me, but, um, but I've probably forgotten what it was like when I was a beginner because it's been so long ago so um, and I noticed that with beginner students how how they're making mistakes when they make mixes and how they're not using their rag to get rid of excess water on their brush and so they're dipping their brush straight into the water then adding it to their mix and making this more watery mix and then when they put it on their paper they get cauliflowers they get explosions happening so um, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to make mixes from a very watery mix to a strong mix and then also how you're controlling your mixes so here we go it's much easier to understand by me doing a simple demonstration so what we're going to do is use this lovely paint called yellow ochre and the first thing is I'm going to do a watery mix here so first thing I need lots of water and um, I've already got pigment here so this is going to be a really watery mix so you have to be careful with your watery mixes because if your water is dirty or if there's other pigment that you end up touching it can soon um, change the color so you have to be so careful with these light washes so there we go lovely watery wash and let's put that on there we go I might even make it a bit stronger so you see the way I just get a touch of pigment just a touch if I've got too much I can wipe it off on my rag that is a bit too much so I'll add some water dab it add some more water and then let's see yeah it was too light before there we go now that would be beautiful to use for the sky early in the morning, that colour. It's a beautiful colour. Now here we're going to do a super thick mix. So first of all, I don't really need to clean my brush but if I was doing a different coloured mix I would wash my brush like this and then I would dry it like that and I'd dry it really well because I'm going to make a thick mix now so here we go and see how thick this is now there is still water on the brush and that will help me because if there was no water at all it would be really really difficult to paint with like painting with butter so here we go and I'm getting this dry brush effect because there's so little water on the brush there we go now I'm going to try and do a mix that is between these two so the way I do that is I don't put this in the middle of here I put it at the edge and then I begin to add water like that little by little it's a bit like cooking when you mix things slowly until you get the consistency just right and um, yeah I think that's good I might add a little touch more water and let's see now I think that's right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a mix that's between this one and this one. So it's going to be thicker, so I'm going to dry this, get rid of some of the water, 
and then I'm going to take some of this and add it to this and I might add a tiny bit more pigment and I don't think this is the same I think this is a bit lighter so let's have a look yeah I think we've got it so this is definitely darker than that one but I think not quite as dark as this it is tricky but doing this will really help you to make your mixes now we're going to do the one between this and this and um, this is already this mix so we need to make it lighter so I'm going to I'm going to take up take away some of this actually to begin with and then because I want less pigment and then I'm going to add more water so you understand I took away pigment there wiped it on here and then I added more water and if it gets too weak then I can always take pigment here and just add a bit but I think we've got it so this is the second time I'm doing this so practice does really make you better so if it goes wrong the first time which it probably will do if you're a beginner do have another go look I think that's a little nah it's probably okay could make it a little bit stronger but no that's fine so yeah do have another go if it doesn't work out first time so that's one way now the other way is to begin here and just get thicker and thicker so shall we try that so first of all I'm going to use this mix and I'm going to add water and I think that's right it's just what we want let's test it if it's too strong you can get tissue and quickly wipe it out and you'll probably see nothing with a watery wash like this so there we go there's our watery mix now I'm going to dab it because I want to have less water now so I'm getting rid of water and I'm taking some of this and then adding it to this and a bit more now maybe I've gone a little bit too strong there so I'm going to add a touch of water see how I'm doing all this it's really important to remember this and there we go okay so now I want to go even thicker so I'm going to add some pigment to this more pigment and I think that's it yeah so let's do that there we go okay and I want even thicker now so dabbing my brush getting some more pigment maybe even some more pigment maybe a touch of water and here we go yeah so it's definitely stronger so that's working lovely can I make one more so of course this really has to be thick so really dry that and maybe just wipe up most of that and here I'm just going to get almost pure pigment I didn't really need to do that I'm going to use this area here and I'm going to use pure pigment no I'm not there's a bit of water in the brush and I'm mixing it in here so doesn't matter though it's thick enough let's see how this looks because maybe this is too strong for watercolor painting maybe it's certainly not very transparent oh yeah you can see it looks more or less the same but there is water in this it's not 100% pure but there's obviously not a lot of water in it so there we go um, if it doesn't work out please have another go but I hope this very very simple exercise will show you how to create mixes and how to get the right balance of water to pigment 
I also hope it will show you how to use your rag and your water. It's so important not to just use the water bucket, but to be using the rag as well. In some ways, the water bucket's like the accelerator and you can paint more and more the more water you add, but the brake kind of brings a bit of more control in it and the rag, sorry, is a bit like a brake and it brings a bit more control and you need that. I've noticed recently with some of my students, they're just not using their rag at all. And not only is that leading to big explosions and cauliflowers on the paper, but it's also they're not managing to make these thick mixes that sometimes you need to make. And to make those thick mixes, you really need to use your rag. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, please have a go and happy painting. Thank <music> you.